Join us in this episode as we begin our exploration of the Norwegian coast, anchoring in some idyllic wild places, slowing down and getting close to nature in the land of the midnight sun. I'm Jasmine, and these are my parents, Guy and Joe. And this is our home, Free Spirit. Come join us on our adventures. It was the 13th of June and we had just arrived in Arctic Norway after sailing 640 nautical miles from the Faroes to the town of Borda. It was our first time in Norway and after a long and eventful crossing, we wanted to take some time to rest and slow down a bit. The next day brought summer with it. From thick jackets, we changed to thin summer clothes, not what we had expected in Arctic Norway. The bus is actually melting. <laughs> we set off to explore. In the distance, snow-capped mountains towered into the sky. It was the start of the Arctic summer and the sun never dipped below the horizon. The days blended together and we often lost track of what time it was. We met some lovely locals who showed us around the border and took us out for drinks. It was the perfect introduction to Norway. After a few days in the town, we prepared Free Spirit to set off again. We changed the engine filters after our voyage and set up our rigid frame advanced elements kayaks that would serve as our transport to and from the boat and are perfect for exploring. We stopped to fill up with fuel. And finally, we were off. The winds were too light to sail properly.
It was nice to be out on the water again, and we were excited to see what Norway had to offer. Rafts of puffins bobbed about on the water. As we neared our destination, white-tailed eagles watched us as we passed. The small group of islands known as Kalsoy Fjorden is a nature reserve, and at this time of year they are reserved for nesting birds and access ashore is not permitted. Once we were securely anchored, we wasted no time in getting the kayaks ready. Although we weren't allowed on land, there were other ways to experience the beauty of these islands and get close to the wildlife without causing disturbance. It was great to be out in the kayaks again and to be free to explore in between the islets and coves at our own leisure. The next day, the sun came out again. It was nice to slow down and just take it all in. Back on board, we decided to go for our first dip in Arctic waters. <laughs> We've been in for the first time it. here in the Arctic. <laughs> Woo! Yay! <laughs> that was cold, but it was nice. Oh. It felt good. Oh. 
alone in our beautiful little anchorage, we could experience the midnight sun in all its glory. next morning, strong winds blew into our anchorage and a small swell began to build. So we motored around to a small, sheltered bay and took a mooring buoy. We decided to go snorkeling and examine and clean Free Spirit's hull. With the jobs done, we swam off to see if we could spot any marine life. Unfortunately, the sheltered bay didn't offer the perfect, rich habitat we had kayaked over previously. But the sea floor was still alive with brittle stars. They gathered here in great numbers, perhaps in order to breed. These strange creatures covered almost every surface. Other starfish were here too. We discovered lots of other organisms in this little bay. Beneath our mooring buoy, many large fish gathered in the depths. We set off again in search of new places where we could go ashore to explore. In bright sunshine, with calm seas and mountains in the distance, we were already beginning to fall in love with Norway.
we found an idyllic anchorage off the island of Vettoya. It was nice to set foot on shore again. It was hard to believe that we were in the Arctic. And it was lovely to slow down and drink in the beauty of this place. day the clouds closed in. decided to climb a nearby hill to get a better view of our surroundings. We caught a few cod, but the shallow anchorage only yielded small individuals, a bit too small to eat, so we released them back into the sea. After a morning dip, we upped anchor and set off again. We moored in Helnesund, where we stocked up with supplies. And explored some of the beautiful woodland.
please like and subscribe. A huge thank you to all my patrons for helping to support the production of these videos. If you'd like to help, as well as getting early ad-free videos, then click the link in the description and head over to my Patreon account. Thanks for watching! Join us next time as we head to some of our favourite wild anchorages yet and continue exploring the stunning Norwegian coast. In the midst of the Arctic summer. Exposure select set. Is it on? Is it? Is it doing it? I don't know. I'm really. I'm gonna give up. It never does that. Don't be so impatient. Is it on? Yes, it was on.